part of this exercise three, we have to optimize our Docker image for Spring Boot that we have built. Instead of using the fat executable fat jar, we want to separate out our libs and application code so that whenever we change our application code, our layer of libs are not changed, right? And we can leverage the uh, image layer there. Also adding the dot ignore file to reduce the context load. So as part of the previous exercise, we have the image build, which is metadata service. But this image is built using the standard way of just copying the whole metadata jar right into the container. Now what happens is that every time when I change my source code for any simple thing, all this metadata service or jar is newly built, right? And with that, it always creates that layer which includes the lib files as well. So what we have to do is like we want to split the libs and my application code. So for that, I have my application build here. So I say I'm inside my target directory. Sorry. If you notice, I have my metadata service dot jar here, which is my jar, which is 24 MB. What I'll do is like I'll create a directory called app. I go inside the app directory. Inside this app directory, I'm going to say jar minus XF and pick up the metadata service jar from the parent directory and explode in the current directory. When I do that, let's see the content what's there inside my current directory. Now I have this boot INF directory where all my content is. So let me just show you what look. All my libraries are here. My classes are here. And meta INF contains the actual uh, meta information about my application. So what I have to do is to copy this content, right? Into my container in two steps. In this file now, instead of copying the Uber jar, what I'll do is like target app slash put inf slash say I want all my lib directory lib to be copied to my slash app slash lib in the app meta inf directory lib file into my app lib directory and all my application classes into my app directory. I have to keep this as last because this is the line that will keep changing, right? Every time I change my source code, this is the line. Uh, these are the classes that will uh, keep changing. Now to run this, I have to put my entry point here. Where I say Java minus class path where I specify app slash lib directory. And my main class to start my application, right? So now I go to my parent directory where I have my Docker file, right? So say Docker images just to show that I have this image here. Let me let me just show you first history about this image so that you see the difference later on. So now if you look at this, I added the file which is this one, right? Where I copied the file, which is 24.6 MB, which is my executable jar. Now, if I do Docker build, my new application jar is built. Say Docker images. Size is same, 127 MB. The previous image got into the orphan stage here. So now this 127 MB. Now, if I look at the Docker history, metadata you'll notice that i have multiple layers here right first layer is my all library which is almost 24.4 mb right out of my 24.6 mb here in the previous uh, jar file my meta nf file which 
also doesn't change uh, at all. And then my application code, which is a layer of 150 KB uh, uh, file size. So that's how my uh, image is uh, optimized to have multiple layers. So any source code change will not affect these layers. Only it will change the top layer, which is 150 KB only. Now, if you notice, I have this context that was sent of 51 MB, which is huge. So you, how to reduce this? So let's go ahead and add Docker ignore file. In this ignore file, I want to ignore everything. So for that, that is very good option available which says I want to ignore everything except my target slash app folder. So uh, this is the reverse way where I specify what I want to ignore instead of that I am saying that I want to ignore everything except my target slash app folder where I have exploded my current uh, Uber job. So now if I go ahead and run the Docker build command again, you'll notice that my context has reduced to 24 MB from my 51 MB size here. So that's the objective. Everything else remains same. It's just the context size has reduced. 